Hi, I am Dr. Devashish. I am the senior ENT head and neck consultant of Columbia Asia Hospital Whitefield. I take care of all the ENT and head and neck problems. Now this time, uh, this condition which is called cholesteatoma, quite a long tongue twister. Uh, it is a condition of the ear. As I had mentioned in my first two uh, questions about chronic infection of the ear or chronic superiority otitis media, where due to repeated infection of the ear, there is damage to the eardrum and the eardrum has a big hole due to which the patient has repeated ear infections and also decreased hearing. Sometimes as a result of this chronic infection, there is a disease which develops inside the middle ear which is called cholesteatoma, which is nothing but a pouch of dead cells and debris which is not malignant but it has a destructive ability. It keeps on growing and it destroys the structures around it. So obviously it is not a very safe disease to have in your ear. If patient is having a recurrent foul smelling, sometimes blood stained ear discharge, please don't ignore show your ENT specialist there is a possibility that the patient is having what I just now mentioned cholesteatoma. Cholesteatoma cannot be cured medically the only option is surgical removal of the cholesteatoma removing the entire disease the bone behind the ear has to be clean the name of the surgery is modified radical mastoidectomy where we clean the entire bone behind the ear free from the disease and also we repaired the hearing structures because as I have said this cholesteatoma is also a destructive in nature. It's, it gradually erodes and destroys the structures around it. So sometimes the tiny structures in the ear which conduct sound also gets destroyed. And the patient hears much less compared to a normal individual. So any patient having cholesteatoma we have two targets in our treatment first to eradicate the disease. Second is to repair the eardrum and the tiny hearing structures so that the patient is able to hear well. So the only treatment for cholesteatoma in any patient is surgical. Please don't ignore because sometimes it may erode the boundary between the ear and the brain. The brain is very closely situated to the ear. If this cholesteatoma erodes the boundary between the ear and the brain then there will be fatal complications like meningitis and brain abscess. So any patient having recurrent foul smelling blood stained ear discharge immediately refer to an ENT specialist in a hospital and we, and we will take care of it.